the topic for this video is division and now as you all know for division we require two things dividend and divisor while performing division using a pen and a paper there might not be a problem that would occur but when we are implementing this operation using hardware there can be a problem the division operation may result in a question with an overflow now this is because the length of the registers that we are using are of finite length and will not hold a number that exceeds their length for example if we are having 5 bit registers we are having 5 bit registers to store a divisor we need one register to store a dividend we require two registers and there are certain cases where the question after performing division on these two will contain six bits so we need a flip-flop for storing that extra sixth bit this is the divide overflow condition that should be avoided in normal computer operations and now the question is when can this situation arrive where the the length of the question can be greater than the length of the register that is when the dividend the five most significant bits of the dividend are greater than the divisor the question will have a sixth extra bit so we need to firstly check whether the first bits of the dividend are greater than divisor because that will result into a divide overflow condition and it has to be handled separately if not will continue with the division process so this is the flowchart to perform the division firstly because a dividend is stored in aq and divisor in b where b is one registers and dividend is stored in two registers now because when the sign of the question is to be determined you need to know the sign of the dividend and the divisor if the sign of the dividend and the divisor that is aq and b are alike the sign of the question will be positive if they are unlike the question sign will be negative so we perform the XOR gate between the sign bits of the dividend and divisor and whatever will be the result will be stored in the sign bit of the question that is q now to compare the first bits of the dividend and divisor we perform the subtraction here if it is overflow then the E value should be 1 because the result is sto getting stored in EA where E stores the overflow value. If it is 0, it, that means there is no overflow and dividends first bits are smaller than the divisors bit and the division process will continue. But in the other case where overflow condition occurs that is the value of E is equal to 1. That means dividend is greater than divisor. The first bits of the dividend are greater than the divisor. Hence it will result in divide overflow condition and we will have to end that case here. But if the division is to be performed that is this case. How it is performed is this. First step is that we perform the shift left of EAQ. After shifting, we check whether E is 0 or 1. If it is 0, a subtraction is performed and the result is stored in EA. After that, again, the value of E is checked. If it is 1, QN's value is set to 1, whereas if it is 0, the value of B is added to A to reset the value of A, which was changed after subtraction. After these two steps, the sequence counter is decremented by 1. These steps are followed until the sequence counter results in 0. And after 0, we will get the final question and the remainder. This division process is illustrated using an example in the next video. Thank you.